Hi everyone, my name is John Q. Husravi, and I'm the Managing Associate of the JQK Immigration Law Firm. Today we're going over the four basic requirements for the K-1 Fiancé Visa. What is a K-1 Visa? A K-1 Fiancé Visa permits a foreign citizen fiancé to travel to the U.S. and marry their U.S. citizen sponsor within 90 days of arrival and subsequently apply for adjustment of status, meaning the green card. So as a fiancé, you'd get the visa, enter the U.S., and marry your wife or your husband in the U.S., and then apply for a green card. Basic requirement number one, the U.S. fiancé must be a citizen. That means the person, the petitioner for this application in America, must be a U.S. citizen. A person that has a green card, also known as a lawful permanent resident, cannot request a fiancé visa for their fiancé abroad. Basic requirement two, the foreign fiancé must be located outside of the U.S. This means you can't have your fiancé in the U.S. and then request a fiancé visa. The whole point of the fiancé visa is to get permission for the fiancé to enter the U.S. If they're already in the U.S., then you'd get married and file a petition for alien relative. Basic requirement number three, the marriage must be lawful. The fiancés must be of lawful age with genuine intent to marry. Moreover, both fiancés have to be lawfully single and all previous divorces must be first finalized. Basic requirement four, the fiancés must have seen each other in person within two years before applying for the fiancé visa. There is an exception for extreme hardship when it is too difficult to see the other person or if there's religious or cultural reasons that prevent you from seeing each other. But these are very rare exceptions. Finally, when you do see each other, keep proof or receipts of your visits. For example, airplane tickets, hotel visits, pictures you have, and make sure you have the exact dates of when you saw each other. This is very important. The marriage for a fiancé visa is supposed to occur within 90 days of arriving in the U.S. to be able to get a green card based on that K-1 visa. If 90 days pass and then you get married, you can't adjust status based on the K-1 visa anymore. You have to separately file for a petition for alien relative and then adjust status. Here are some additional notes. Keep in mind that the income and affidavit support requirements apply for the K-1 visa and the subsequent adjustment of status. This means there needs to be a sponsor that makes a minimum amount of income or has a minimum amount of assets to show that they can support the foreign alien upon entry into the U.S. Those dealing with international marriage brokers must abide by and comply with the rules of the International Marriage Broker Regulation Act, IMBRA. Also, a regular consular visa interview is required before being granted a visa. This means the foreign fiancé must go to the consulate or embassy that they're assigned to to do an interview. During this interview, their background is reviewed, many questions are asked about themselves and their relationship, and also any U.S. immigration or international criminal issues that they've had will be brought up. If these issues do exist, please contact an immigration lawyer. To schedule a consultation, you can contact me at info at jqklaw.com or at 310-582-5904. You can also find more information about me at www.jqklaw.com. Thanks for listening.